Hello, this is Daryl Webster with a couple of updates about Office 365 Groups and a tip to use Planner alongside OneNote. Uh, yeah, just to start with, the, the header is now rolling out into Office 365 Groups as a new way of navigating to the different areas of services. We're in conversations at the moment, you see it's very similar to the Yammer header. It's good to have a familiar experience across all the different Office 365 services. As we go into calendar, we can see the same uh, as well. Uh, the only uh, thing at the moment is that it's still rolling out to files. So I've got the example over here and we still see the ellipsis menu where you need to click and see all the different services. Now, of course, plan is quite new. And um, at the moment, if you've signed up for the preview, you need to be visiting tasks.office.com. At the moment, it's not featuring underneath either of the menus, but we do expect to see it turn up there soon. So uh, just to transition now into that tip I wanted to give you with Planner, um, you'll see uh, along with all the different uh, services that you get with groups, um, you also can see the same things within a plan. So my plan is a direct one-to-one -one relationship between the operations or ops group and the, um, the plan that I have here too. Planner is an entirely separate portal, um, though you can see all the different plans uh, across the, the different groups that you might belong to as well. So we're, we've got a basic plan open up, we've got some tasks, I've got a couple of phases that I want to, to work in, and I've created this task um, along here. Now, uh, one thing about the tasks, we have lots of different things that we can uh, link in and do with a task to give it more context. Uh, we can attach documents, uh, we can make that uh, part of the preview so that when we look at that on the card view or the, uh, the, the uh, board view of all our uh, tasks within the, the project, that we'll see that as the preview. Um, we can also add links, so in this case I've added a link to a document that um, is uh, a, rather a, a reference article or a KB article. Um, and, and conversations as well. So as we're adding all the different uh, tasks to our, our projects, they also uh, add the conversation to our conversation area of the group. So what I wanted to show you is that uh, you know you can attach the documents um, you know from various different places. Of course, it's good to keep all your documents in the files area of your group, but you could attach it to documents that are in other places that people can access. Um, you can link to various things, as I've said. But what I want to show you is that um, this link area of the task can be really useful to link to various sections or pages or even paragraphs within a, a group notebook. So let's just go through that scenario. I'm going to create a new, a, a new task. We'll call it Do That. And we're not going to be too imaginative. Um, we're going to scroll on down. Oh, let's try that again. And we'll assign that to Elizabeth Swan. We'll get in there and start adding some things to that task. So we'll give it a start date, oh, maybe a due date actually. Flick across and make that next month. Um, we could fill out all the description and various bits and pieces, but what I want to show you is this tip. So here's the link. Very basic, doesn't look like you can do much, and um, probably most people will either uh, use it just briefly or even you know avoid it altogether. Um, they'll use it when they need to, but it, it doesn't look very impressive at this stage. What I want to show you is that we can link to the various areas of a notebook. Now, of course, a notebook, if you've got your a notebook used with your group, not only is it available within your browser, but it's also available if you connect it to your OneNote on your various devices. Um, and in this demonstration, I'm going to do the desktop. So if we go to our notebook to start with, or over in our plan, we'll click that open. You'll see that I've already got it open in this tab. We've got a, a view here of the notebook, and it's uh, collapsed the various pages and sections. So this is just the first page of the first section. So as I expand that out, I can pin this uh, panel. And we're going to look in particular at our uh, section that I've created in the notebook called Projects. This is a section group. So as I expand that, I've created a section for each of the phases of the project or tasks in, in, uh, in Planner. So I've got phase one. 
but go into that section, I've created a page for each of the tasks. Pretty easy to do. Do this, do that. I've just added a page. And uh, you know, the great thing about the, the notebooks is that you can link to various areas of the notebook. So this is what I want us to, to do, is uh, right click on do that as the task that I've created, copy a link to the page. I'm going to go back to that task and planner and use that as uh, a place to add our notes notebook just uh, some basic text to display paste our horrible looking link but very functional okay and we don't necessarily have to use that as our preview for the the resource we could just um, you know remove that as the preview but um, the point is that now I can um, you know manage all the different notes to do with this task um, and uh, any uh, meetings that I might have or uh, you know anything con contextual around that that I want to add um, as I click into that I can now go directly to that page within my notebook and knowing that all my team have the the notebook connected to their devices or um, they might launch it as I have within their browser um, they're also going to get a copy of all the context around that task you know, whether it be that we've um, added a uh, you know a time and date stamp that was today the 29th of uh, January and then we've uh, done a few 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 things or um, you know the meetings that we might have in here too so the good thing about this too is as I said not only are you um, able to use this from um, your browser but we can also have a look at the same thing within our notebook connected to our desktop or devices so as I go into, um, you know, the do that page, I'm able to see the uh, the context of, of that task. So a re really useful um, way of connecting OneNote to your tasks and uh, getting the use of that integration between Planner and the Notebook service. Hope this serves you well and uh, I'd be encouraged to hear how you use that and um, how successful it is for you. Thanks for watching.